What is three phase power? Well, let's start with the power that's in your home. You have like a 13 amp plug socket that goes in the wall. That's single phase. And in that plug, you've got three pins. One's the earth, which is where excess power goes back to ground for safety purposes. The second one is a neutral, which is kind of like where the power that's not used goes. And the other one is the active, which is kind of like the power that delivers to the appliance. That's single phase. Three phase has three of those lives, three lots of power being pushed through the cable, one neutral, which all of the lives share, and then one earth, which is where any excess or unwanted power goes to ground. The question you might be thinking is how do you have three of these lives and one of these neutrals? Well, this is where waveform comes in. Each live power supply has a waveform that fluctuates at 50 hertz. It goes on and off, positive and negative, 50 times in a second. Now these waves are all offset, which is called out of phase with each other. And when the three of them join up, after they've gone through the appliance in the neutral, it equalizes. So that's why we can have one neutral line to three live lines. Why do we do that though? The reason is we get three times as much power through a cable, which is probably only about twice the size. That's very efficient for power transmission. It means less copper, lower cost, um, and more efficient. It also ties in with things like that generator in the distance there, where there's a motor spinning that has three separate coils pushing that power down the lives. At the other end, when you're powering a motor, such as an electric hoist or an industrial fan, for example, um, it transfers the energy in a much more efficient way. So three phase is when there's three lives and one neutral, as opposed to single phase where there's one live and one neutral. Um, I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, watch this video back. And if it still doesn't make sense, go and jump on Wikipedia and they'll probably explain it in more depth than I will. Thanks for watching.